Hi. Today is Monday, June 20th, I think. I went for a run yesterday. It wasn't a, f it was a, f uh, a couch to 5k run, like the first run in a couch to 5k run. So there wasn't that much running involved. Um, and I wasn't sore immediately after. Um, as time went on in the evening afterwards, it started to get sore. And so I had ice in my pants. I went to sleep with ice. Um, I am sore this morning, but it's more of an achy sore. It's not really a huge deal. It just kind of feels tight. I feel like it's actually mostly, the pain is mostly in my hip flexor. Um, which is promising. Meaning it's not actually where my nerve pain is. I think my hip flexor is just still weak. Um, I haven't taken my pain pill yet this morning because I just got up. Yeah, it's definitely my hip flexor that's sore today, so, I mean, it's still not fun having something sore, but I know exactly why it's sore. I just need to continue doing my strengthening exercises, which I had stopped doing for some reason. Um, it's weird, though, to me that, like, all my other workouts that I was doing didn't make my hip flexor sore, but running did, and I didn't even run very much, but I guess running is hard on your hips. Um... So I'm not sure if I'm gonna go running tonight. I'm supposed to. I made my schedule be Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. But we'll see how I feel tonight. My workout today is just a walk. I thought it was gonna be the same thing as yesterday, but apparently not, except my pace is supposed to be nine minutes per kilometer and I tried I tried but uh, every single time the lady updated me on how much time I had left and what my pace was it was 10 minutes I just am doing a 10 minute kilometer walk like a 10 minute pace per kilometer walk um, I don't know nine kilometers nine minutes per kilometer is a pretty fast walk <laughs> Maybe once I get a few more runs in, I'll be able to keep a faster walking pace. But I mean, I already thought like walking one kilometer in 10 minutes was fairly quick, but whatever. Anyway, my workout technically is done. Like the amount of time that I was supposed to walk for is done, but I still have a bit of a ways to go to get home. I went in a bigger loop than I meant to. <laughs> I wrote my thousand words. I only have to write 900 words a day, but yesterday I wrote a thousand, today I wrote a thousand, so it's pretty exciting. Um, and now I have to go to bed. I'm not tired, but it's midnight, so I should go to bed. Um, I'm mildly sore, so I have an ice pack that I'm going to sleep with, and I think I'll be fine tomorrow, probably. I filled up my water jug. It's in my water cooler. I got Laura a present because she broke her elbow today. <laughs> um, someone cut her off when she was riding her bike to work, and she flew over her handlebars and cracked her elbow so i brought her a wee little care package i'm sorry that i didn't document it but it wasn't that exciting um i just and i just left it on her doorstep and then i drove away real fast and i texted her that there was a present for her <laughs> so now i'm home in the nice in my nice cool apartment because it's in the basement and i'm gonna i'm just gonna get right into writing i'm just gonna write right now with with my fizzy water with ice I surpassed my thousand words. I wrote 1,259. Um, it is eight o'clock, but I was, oh, hi, Gherkin. Hey. I was also conversing with people on Marco Polo on Facebook and stuff. I went on TikTok for a little bit. Um, but yeah, I feel pretty good about it. I, don't know when I'm going to go for my run because it's already eight o'clock and I was going to make supper 
and lunch is for tomorrow, which is going to be the same thing. Okay, so it's super hot out today. So I thought I would go running tomorrow instead. If it's still hot tomorrow, whatever. I'll plan my evening a little bit better and just still go running when it's hot. But since I'm not running for long distances right now, or for like a lot amount, a lot of time at a time, uh, so I'm just going to do like an at-home workout later this evening before I go to bed, like at 11 or something. So this is pretty much my favorite thing right now. I'm eating it warm right now because I just made it, but I usually eat it cold. This is an orzo salad with thinly sliced cooked zucchini, um, grape tomatoes, and spinach. And I don't cook the tomatoes or the spinach, um, but I put the spinach in when everything is hot. So it kind of wilts it a little bit. And I cut the spinach into, I just like chop it up a little bit. And then it's got this dressing that's like lemon juice, tahini, olive oil, vinegar, garlic, water, mustard, and maple syrup, and salt, I think is all that's in it. Um, it's so good, and it's so fresh. It's so, it's so good. Oh, no. I'm serious. I'm up the night before. Passed down from the loans for generations. I don't think nothing has ever been so simultaneously hilarious and sad. Nothing, nothing beats that. Oh. I just got the Zombies Run app. Turns out I don't like the add-on for my Under Armour app that I got the trial for. This shirt is confusing. Um, and I'm not really like getting into it, but there's like a lot about it that I actually don't like. So I thought I'd try Zombies Run. I forgot about that app that I had wanted to try a long time ago and never ended up getting. Um, so I got the free version. I don't know like what I missed out on with the free version, but we'll give it a try. And the first workout of it when it explains how it works i think you're just supposed to go at your own pace um I, and then uh and then uh that's like the ground zero workout or whatever and then after that is like the first workout where they tell you when to run and when to walk and stuff and then i guess there's like sections when zombies come and you have to run faster or something i don't know but i'm gonna give it a try <laughs> <sighs> well that was the most fun i've ever had while running like ever that was fucking fantastic. I don't know why I haven't gotten this app earlier. I also don't understand how they have how this app is free. Super high quality. Like fantastic. I feel like if you like running even a little bit, or you really if you want to like running, or you want to try to get into running, and you like the Illuminae Files audiobooks, give it a go. Fantastic. Also, if you like to zombies run and have not listened to the Illuminae Files audiobooks, you should. <laughs> they Just from this one introductory workout, it gave me major Illuminae Files vibes. Um, also gave me hardcore main character energy. Like, I was the main character in a movie, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> I almost just put mustard on my oatmeal. I pour my cinnamon on and then I went into the fridge to get my maple syrup and I grabbed mustard and I shook it and I popped that lid open and I shook it upside down on top of my oatmeal and then I was just about to squeeze it and I was like, wait a second, this is incorrect. What the fuck? Well, at least it's almost Friday. One more day after today. Um, I also started reading Tokyo Ghoul last night. I just wanted to read something punchy and quick. So I picked up Tokyo Ghoul, which is fitting because of my uh, zombies run, um, running. <laughs> uh, and I read the first little chunk of it and it's, it's great. Um, it's time for me to go run away from zombies again. I'm so excited. Today at work was ridiculous. There were three of us working in the entire store all day. It was... <laughs> it was something. <laughs> Okay, so today's uh, workout, which was my like first official Zombies Run workout, was super easy. I feel like if you want to get into running but you're like, think you're super bad at it, I feel like this is the app to use because it was literally 
15 seconds of running at a time. 15. Happy Friday! Yay! Oh my god, uh, there was only two of us for the first hour and a half this morning and it was so busy. Oh my god. Uh, anyway, it's Friday though and I'm home. And look at what I got for my mom. I think I'm gonna, I don't know if I'm gonna give it to her in the package or take them out of the package and keep some for me and some for her so I can be like, we each have some. But we just have like this funny like inside joke with macarons because people call them macaroons and they're not they're macarons there's also only one o macaroons are coconutty treats that sometimes also have chocolate on them and even in like cooking shows they call them macaroons and so anyway we laugh at them um and we have these macaron erasers and it was only like three dollars so <laughs> I thought that was cute and funny. <laughs> Why does nobody know how to use a roundabout? Oh my god. <laughs> like, everyone was just stopped. There was nobody coming. There was nobody. And everyone was just- Both lanes! Be, they were just sitting there. The fuck? My god. Just fucking go. My god. I was just like- why are we sitting? Why are we stopped? This is not a stop sign. This is not a red light. Fuck it. Ugh. Anyway. <laughs> is it? You can really, really taste the vodka in this one. You can really taste the vodka? I don't want to taste the vodka. Well, well try it. Why would I want to taste the vodka? Uh, sorry. Maybe I should have had you taste mine before opening it. No, it's good. It's okay. <laughs> Maybe. No, I feel like you might need more jam. This is homemade jam by... Mm. All you need is a good blender. Right. Oh my god, that's so good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at how nice and dark that is. Oh, fuck. <laughs> so I'm going to help Laura tear down her tent and everything for her event that she was doing today. Okay, so I helped Laura take her stuff down. I went like half an hour early just to like chat with her and stuff Which was I mean nice to see Laura, but it was way too hot. I was immediately sweating absolutely everywhere. I Should not have worn a regular bra. I should have worn a sports bra I'm so uncomfortable right now And I don't want to get out of the car because there's it's nice and cool in here now with the air conditioning and it's fucking hot as fuck outside <laughs> my it says 32. It said 38 in the parking lot. Um, probably because of the tarmac. Like, it's black, so it, like, it's hotter. But, fuck. It's so hot. Laura's parents ended up coming to help take down everything, which was nice of them. So, it took us, like, four minutes. It was fantastic. So, I definitely forgot to take my Nerf pain pills with me to my mom's. Um, and I kept forgetting to take them when I got home. So, I didn't take them last night or this morning. Or tonight, yeah, it's 7.15, so I'm going to take one tonight. I'm a little pinchy, but not very much. But I would like to go running if it's not hot out or too hot by, like, 9. So I don't want to be pinchy while I do go running. So I'm going to take some Nerve Pain Pill. I'm also nice and goosebumpy now, because it's nice and cool down here. Actually, I'm quite pinchy. I just bent down to pick up my phone charger. And, uh, yeah, it was not great. Uh, so hopefully in an hour and a half... <laughs> You feeling okay? Although running and bending down are not the same thing. So I might be okay to go for a run. So I'm going for my run. It's 20 after 9. It's probably going to be fully dark by the time I'm done my run. So I have a reflective armband on to be safe. And I'm also going to take a different route than normal so that I don't end up on the stretch of road with lots of trees on it with less street lights and stuff. So it's better. Look at the sun behind me. <laughs> end up far away from my house if I keep going this way. <laughs> I thought I needed to do another loop around something so I didn't run out of time or space in my time but no I definitely need to start going back at this point. Whew. I only have like three minutes left and I just did like a loop and like I just went around like all the streets in my subdivision. I tried really hard not to overlap streets so it would look good on my map. 
but I definitely overlapped and I'm overlapping right now because I literally just turned around on the same street but whew. the lady just told me I had two minutes to go and she scared me same with some other person so in the game I'm runner number five or the whatever the app I'm called runner five you would be too if you did it and there's like a free form run at the end in the last 10 minutes you're supposed to do whatever you feel like you can do and I did some running that made me feel good. And then all of a sudden there was a zombie noise and I was like, shit, does that mean I have to sprint? But it was runner four pranking me. <sighs> How dare she? I'm going to Timmy's to get a bag of the cold brew. Whoa, my knees hurt from running. Okay, I sent my Tim's rewards to a free bagel because I have enough points for two free bagels and more. I also have to package the last of my Kickstarter books for the people who just filled out their surveys late. I definitely need to do that. Now now I'm late on sending them, so I'll do that today so I can send them after work tomorrow. I was going to go for a rollerblade this evening, um, but I didn't get as much stuff done today that I wanted to, and going for a rollerblade is more time consuming than like going for a jog or something because... I don't just rollerblade in my subdivision. I go to a paved trail, so I have to drive there and then like get my rollerblades on and I want to be rollerblading for like at least half an hour and then I have to get my rollerblades off and drive home. Um, so usually I'm gone for like close to an hour for only like a half an hour long rollerblade. It's already 10 to 8 um, and I wanted to get right I haven't gotten any writing done today because my Microsoft Word wasn't working again it never works every single time I reboot my computer it's so frustrating um and I got a lot of dishes cleaned and I got some meals made for the week um and I ordered groceries to pick up tomorrow after work and I finished reading Tokyo Ghoul which I enjoyed I gave it four stars um but I haven't done any other kind of tidying I have to take out the recycling and the compost for tomorrow and I would like to write and possibly start a new book and do a little bit more tidying. So I just feel like I don't really have time to actually do a rollerblade. And I'm too sore to go for a run. I'm technically not supposed to. I'm only supposed to go for three runs a week with the zombie program that I'm doing, the zombies run program. But um, I do want to go for more than more than three a week. But um, I'm, too, I'm definitely too sore for a run today, like hip wise. Oh my god, I need to stop sitting so much, especially so soon after forgetting to take two doses of my pain pills um ugh, it hurts it's not i'm not having a good time uh, <laughs> i just it's hard not to sit when you can and when a lot of the things that i do in my time is stuff at the computer it's sitting i mean i can lie down with my computer but it's easier to sit with my computer <laughs> you know it's funny all that talk of me like forgetting to take my pill for two doses and being in pain i still haven't taken it for this evening which over a week ago i started taking them like between 5 and 7 p.m instead of before i go to bed and it's 10 o'clock and i still haven't taken it the fuck is wrong with me <laughs> okay i took my pill i don't think i'm going to be doing a workout tonight because my pain has actually gotten worse um over the last few hours probably because of my sitting all the sitting that i've been doing and my lack of pill taking <laughs> so that's okay. Um, it's good to listen to your body. And I feel like I really need to make sure that I'm not overdoing it. So.